Hello everyone. I've got a bit of a sad time. <clears throat> My bandsaw's packed up. Motor's going. Blade ain't going. <clears throat> now to be perfectly honest with you, it's not a complete surprise to me. I watched uh, Robert Zanudu put new bearings on his bandsaw a little while ago. So I bought some new bearings for this one because it was playing up a bit. Um, and I thought I'd check the gearbox out and make sure there was oil in it. And I'll show you what I found when I opened that up. So there's the uh, worm gear in the gearbox. I don't know how clearly that's going to come out on the film, but it's completely knackered. When I looked at it the other week, <coughs> I knew it was on the way out. Um, it's always had plenty of oil in it since I've owned it anyway. I mean, I got it about 18 months ago. Thing is, I've got to the point now where I can't really live with it. Live without it, rather. I mean, if I start it up, so it's all spinning all right there, but if I put any tension at all on the blade, I'll just push that with a screwdriver against the, see the blade stops and then that gear's not moving at all because it's missing it, it's just worn out. Now the thing is, I've been having a look on YouTube and that at these, and most of them that I've looked at seem to have a separate gearbox, and the worm on them is separate, it's a separate, that wouldn't have done it a lot of good, would it? Um, obviously I can pull this off by the look of it, that just goes through to the wheel that drives the band, but it's this, I don't know how this comes out yet, and whether I'm going to be able to make a new worm gear for it or not. So, need some further investigation. I'll drain the oil out of it, get the oil out of it, and uh, pull the motor off and start pulling it to bits. See if I can save it, or whether I've got to scrap it. That took a lot of getting off, and it's a little bit worse for the wear. I don't know why it was so hard to get off. Just been on there a long time, I suppose. Now it looks to me like the bearing on the inside of this is pressed in. 
I don't know how I'd unpress it going that way. I'll take this off and see what happens. I'm presuming this is what holds it in there. Like I say, all the others I've seen, the worm has been attached to the end of this, but this is all one bit. Even if I can make a new worm gear for it, I don't know whether I can actually get this to bits without destroying it. Always make a new complete shaft, I suppose. Right, actually I think I'll take the other the wheel and the gear off first. You bastard. I'm feeling this is going to be no easy task to get off. So even this is a bit, a bit wobbly. But it looks like it's just the wheel that's wobbly and not the... I don't know. Be a rag out that was soaking up the oil. See, I'm very blind here, I don't know what way anything comes out. And it's definitely coming that way. Get a little drift, but I'll knock it right through this way. The wheel up, it's got a little keyway in it. it. Looks like there's another bearing in there. I should be able to get the worm gear off now, anyway. Actually, I think that's just a pin in there. I don't think it is a... I thought it was a little X-bolt. Oh, this is right out with its pair of bearings. But anyway, right, well, I can get that off in a minute. That's, I ain't got to worry too much about that. What I have got to worry about is getting this, one, this, this shaft out. I've got no idea how I'm going to get this out. Because it's just pressed into the bearings here and there's a bearing on this side. Just 
don't know how I would get that out if it don't pop out That bearing up that end looks like it's coming out. Oh, and this bearing's gone back a little bit here. Hopefully. Hopefully I can knock that right through and right out. Done with a bigger wedge on that. Well, it looks like it's coming, but if it don't come soon, I'm going to run out of space in here. and I'm running out of room in here oh. it's out launched it across the floor all right so this is what we've got out of it this is the, the worm I mean, it's completely bollocksed. Let's see if I can get a big bit of close up of that. It's completely knackered. I mean, it was on the way out when I bought the thing, so I checked the oil and that when I bought it. I knew it didn't have a huge amount of life in it. And it's just these bearings are all pressed onto this shaft. This is just an oil seal. So. I'm in two minds what to do now. I've got half a mind to cut this off just here and just make a new worm and put it over that and j just either put a grub screw or something in there to do it. I mean this is the uh, the other half. completely knackered one side so I suspect this was a bit moody anyway because of the way it's worn so much more on one side than the other if you can see them gears but I've got some DP20 cutters and if I find one of the decent-ish ones here they look like a reasonable fit on it So this side of it's not too much of a problem. Apart from the fact that I ain't got a lump of brass that big, I can get that pin out of here and that will come off. Don't mean that's gonna to be too much of a problem. The alternative I suppose is to make a completely new shaft, make an ob, 
and cut a new one of these by orbing it on the lathe. Don't know what to do. I mean, I'm not restoring this. I don't want to restore it to its original factory condition. I just want it to work. I ain't doing it for an exhibit at the British Museum. So as long as I get some sort of worm and that on here that runs it. I mean, I've pretty much got the sizes I need. There's not much of this left that's original. But what to do, cut this off and stick one over it. That would definitely be the easiest option for that. And I can make a big aluminium one out of that for the time being just to get the thing working again. If I get another year out of it, I'll have had a result. I only paid 75 quid for it a couple of years ago. So, I mean, my biggest concern is getting it up and running pretty quick because I'm a bit buggered without it. Right, I'm gonna go and make myself a cup of tea and think about it. And wash my hands. Right, well, I've had a cup of tea. I've had a think about it. And this is what I'm gonna try to do. And there are a lot of flaws in this plan. So I've decided to keep this as intact as I can. I'm gonna turn this right off. The old uh, pinion is what I suppose you'd call it and turn this shaft down a little bit I'm going to measure this obviously this is turned out of this shaft and it's anyway I'm going to turn this down measure it and I'm going to make an ob and then I'm going to cut a new pinion obviously the same as the ob and then put it over this shaft and pin it in or something that's what I'm going to do with that and I'll make an ob and I'll cut a new one of these out of aluminium with the ob. Now, this is about 29 and a half millimeters, the diameter of this. And I haven't got any tool steel or anything that big to make the ob. So I'm just gonna have to use a bit of ordinary steel. And hopefully it'll be strong enough to cut this. It's only got to do the one, and it's only gonna be in aluminium. So, Hopefully this ain't hardened and hopefully I can turn it down. Speed it up and see how we get on.
Oh, well, I didn't realise the card had run out. So I've turned this down 50 mil along here, and I'll turn it down to 15 mil diameter. Mostly because I've got a 15 mil, a good 15 mil reamer that I can do the. If I ever get the wash name done, I can ream that, and that should be a good fit on there. But I'm just going to let it cool down and remeasure it. Right, so that bit's pretty good for size. Pretty cool now. It's just pretty much spot on 15 mil, spot on as I ever get anything anyway. It's about 15 and a half a micron, which will do. I can always make it fit later. Um, so hopefully I'm going to make the new pinion for it. Put it on there with Loctite and just put a pin or something through it. As if I can get the... Uh, well, I'll be able to make the pinion alright. It's um, making the ob that might be a problem. So, well, making the ob won't be a problem. Whether the ob works or not, that'll be the problem. So I'll get on and make that and see how I get on with it. Without a band saw, he's a bastard.